Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon, releasing June 10th, 2023. Some reports are coming in in regards to the current state of Final Fantasy 16. Like, we've talked a little bit about the, about the, uh, about the quality of the game, about how it's uh, not looking all that great. That's mostly what I'm concerned about pre-release. But now that the game is on the verge of coming out, now that this is the big new game coming to PS5, it's time to really talk about how it's going to perform. How well is it going to sell? How well is it going to match up to Zelda? And not only are all signs pointing to the game getting completely demolished, like completely raped, like it's going to be taken to Shawshank Prison and then just completely just anal, anally fucked, right? Not only is it going to get destroyed by other brands that have come out around the same time, it also looks as if, um, as if this is like a franchise killing thing, right? This looks like this is going to be the biggest fr franchise bomb in history. And right now, nobody really wants to admit it. Like right now, I think, you know, game journals are running damn control and people are trying to keep the brand alive, you know, in order to keep uh, Square Enix alive. But I do think we're at the point where uh, the chickens have come home to roost, right? Like I think we're at the point now where all the mistakes they've made with, you know, making Final Fantasy VII a PlayStation exclusive with, with you know, the direction they've been taking the franchise since Final Fantasy XII, right? With the, you know, the the big last decade of, of Final Fantasy, you know, the 13 trilogy, the original release of 14, the, uh, you know, the release of 15, right? The release of, uh, you know, Final Fantasy VII R, you know, like this long string of mistakes, not only just associated with Final Fantasy, but with like, you know, Square Enix as a whole, with, with games like Forspoken, like Kingdom Hearts 3, like everything they've done has just run their brand into the ground for the past 20 years, 25 years, right? It's been nonstop disaster after nonstop disaster, so much so that one of the highest quality ga franchises in gaming, you know, Final Fantasy, which used to be like, you know, synonymous with high quality hardcore gaming for the rpg fan has been overshadowed by other properties you know rpg fans have moved on to other series trails dragon quest atelier it, you know like there are so many examples of franchises that just have stayed true to their roots that have stayed like relatively popular that have like you know done what final fantasy does but better while Final Fantasy has become essentially a parody of itself, you know, that's that's kind of where we're at now is that like the people who were fanatically obsessed with Final Fantasy like 10, 15, 20 years ago have moved on. Right. And, and like going into Final Fantasy 16, where like all anyone can talk about is like, oh, man, they're they're ripping off Game of Thrones. They're ripping off Attack on Titan. This is going to be the greatest thing ever. You know, Final Fantasy can do so much with these ideas that 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 are that people love and there's no real genuine enthusiasm for what Square Enix is doing right nobody is really looking at this game and thinking that, like this is going to be a masterpiece right it's just blind fanboyism right if there's any any real enthusiasm for it at all like when it comes to the general audience though like when it comes to like you know what ordinary people are saying about the game like not only are most people not aware the game is coming out most people aren't even most people just have no interest in it whatsoever there is no enthusiasm regarding this release at all like it's a lot like street fighter 6 in that respect where it's kind of just like there's no possible way it's going to be good, right? Like we've been burned so many times with Final Fantasy, you know. Like why? Ex why exactly would anyone, anyone, be enthusiastic about what they're doing with Final Fantasy 16? Like it's not a game that's any on anyone's radar. And I, I have to like pose this question: like, is this going to be the game that sinks Square Enix for good? We're already well on its. Well, on our way to seeing that happen, you know, First Spoken, I think, was a really hefty blow to them. They're a big, hefty blow to their credibility. You can't just spend like a hundred million dollars on a game and then just have it be like a complete disaster and expect to walk away from it, no matter how big your company is. So I think. I think we are going to see like more bombs like it, right? Like the excuse I'm seeing right now is that like, oh, uh, 
their brand is too strong to fail or like they have gotcha money or they have final fantasy 14 which is a a subscription-based service but you know it's gonna be like wow all over again all right where eventually the audience for final fantasy 14 is going to move on they are going to get bored they are going to do something else and there's really nothing that Square Enix can do to stop that, right? Well, what are they going to do? Release another expansion? Like, what are they going to do? Release another MMO? Like, what are they going to do? Like, <laughs> like that audience of people is not going to play a traditional Final Fantasy game, right? I, I think, like, the release of 15 and 16 really, really demonstrates that. Is that, like, how much of an overlap really was there between, like, Final Fantasy 14 and, and Final Fantasy 15 and 16? Like... It, it, it just seems like Final Fantasy fourteen has less to do with the Final Fantasy brand and more to do with the failure of WoW and Activision Blizzard. Like, the only way that, that Square Enix can succeed is if their only competition does worse, right? And that's been the uh, the case for most of these companies for a long time. It's not like, oh, it was a race to the bottom. Uh, it always has been, like, but, you know, some companies were, like, less terrible than others. And, um we're finally reaching the point where it feels like essentially every single video game company has has reached the point where like they can't like go any lower right like the audience has had enough they're they're moving on they they've stopped being invested like if you're still invested in like Xbox like in Redfall in like Jedi Survivor like I don't know what to tell you it's it's insane just how much just how much that some people still fixate on these brands, still pretend like they they they're somehow going to make a comeback or somehow going to be become good again. It's it's simply not going to happen, right? Like when Final Fantasy recovers, I think it's not going to be until like Square Enix folds and it's uh, acquired by a more competent company. And by more competent company, I mean Nintendo. Like I don't see like Square Enix like ever ever making a comeback for this from this right like it is it is a business that is currently being run into the ground and i I just don't see most people really talking about it like we're, we're seeing a lot of people just make excuses for them like try to downplay the situation like you know probably because square enix is like one of sony's like biggest shills right without square enix like so playstation loses a lot of credibility and if square enix goes i think PlayStation will lose a lot of its audience, especially in Japan. This is, I think, the uh, this is, I think, the um, the beginning of the end for the brand. Uh, not just for Square Enix, but for PlayStation and for like all other associated like anti Nintendo products. Like they can't keep pretending that there's some big AAA. RPG franchise right around the corner that can compete with Nintendo, with Xenoblade, with Zelda, with uh, Pokemon, like coming from these companies, if like they they're constantly just losing money and constantly releasing bomb after bomb, right? Like whenever I see people like t- bringing up Kingdom Hearts four, like I laugh, right? Like it's not just about like the association with association with Disney. It's not just because it's Kingdom Hearts, right? Like it's because that Square Enix just has a really poor track record, right? So poor that I couldn't possibly stay invested in the Kingdom Hearts brand. Like, why? what exactly am I looking forward to in the future of Kingdom Hearts? Right? I waited a decade for Kingdom Hearts 3, and when it finally came out, I couldn't even finish it. It was so broken, so boring, so, like, so dull that I, I just found myself just, like, just completely baffled by, by what they did with it, right? And, uh, you know, looking at Kingdom Hearts 4, looking at what they're doing with that, looking at, like, you know, tr- what they're trying to do, like, even these, like, dream projects they're talking about, like, even these, like, things that should be, like, really exciting for me are just not all that interesting, you know? Uh, since then, I've discovered Yeast, you know? Since then, I've discovered, like, you know, uh, the modern Zelda game, like they're just the industry has moved past the kingdom hearts formula in a lot of ways and i don't you know even as a, a fan of the original kingdom hearts not like not two not any of the sequels but like you know the original like there's nothing really that square enix could possibly do to get me invested like they can't reboot it they can't remake it they can't do anything to get me to get me back on board with the franchise like i am 100 percent done with it and not only that i'm like speaking out against the franchise i've constantly like ragged on it for the decisions they've made and and the things they've done and i i just feel as if like who in the world 
could ever take Square Enix seriously. Like, I personally believe that that Square needs to be treated like they are a failing company. Like, more people need to acknowledge that this, com- that this brand is failing, and I am simply not seeing enough of that from the community. 